My name is Melissa DeMeo and I am Staff Education Coordinator. I've wanted to be in healthcare since I was a little girl and I had my stuffed animals on my bed and I put IVs in them and band-aids and all of that. I knew that I'd be in healthcare someday, I just didn't know how. One of the important elements of creating this culture of safety is real, really decreasing the power distance that is perceived in an organization. We need to feel free to speak up for safety and to speak to each other. So where people are confident to speak up for safety, it really has to do with relationships and about good manners, quite honestly. I look at the tones that we're introducing, it's about what your mama taught you, <laughs> okay? Be nice to people, smile at them, create an environment and create something that's welcoming so that you have that space where you can communicate, where there isn't the power distance or struggle or the fear that might have been there um, before. And we should all be uh, very conscious that we're a team and working for the same goal. And I really think working for the same goal of patient safety, it's all about the patient at that time, can take away a lot of that distance. Uh, Non-clinical employees are essential in creating an environment uh, for patient safety. We all work at the sharp end, and that's what we'll be hearing. Um, we have an ability to touch a patient or a process that touches the patient uh, and really affect um, the outcome negatively or positively. So it could be in the process, I like to say, from someone receiving um, products through the storeroom. It could be someone who's faxing out medical records. It could be someone who's um, processing results, who doesn't think that patient safety is really in their hands. And nothing could be farther from the truth because we're an entire system. And if there is a weak link in the system, then it puts a patient at risk. So part of this is about keeping employees safe as well and when we're focused on safety and the culture of safety that not only are we going to meet our goals for patient safety and satisfaction but everything else is going to fall into place as well. We're going to be um, safer, our environment's going to be safer and we're going to meet our objectives there too. I have to say to the associates that I work with and everyone in the organization, I hope that you realize what an incredible opportunity this is to be a forerunner in our field and to make this the place that people want to come and be cared for, that Signature Healthcare is where people know not only will we care for them but about them and we're going to help them be better, feel better. And this is going to be a perfect place to work.